What's going on, guys? Star Wars 141 back here taking a look at Lego Marvel. Marvel, not Star Wars, but Marvel. <laughs> Set uh, 30652 Doctor Strange's Interdimensional Portal, which is the Lego Marvel poly bag for January of 2023, containing 44 pieces. And Lego is recommending this poly bag for ages 6 and up. But, you know, obviously. It's just because of the small pieces. Anyways, in this uh, set, we're obviously getting one minifigure, which is being Doctor Strange, and we're also getting a small build off to the side. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at Doctor Strange. All right, so obviously the one minifigure we get in the set is Doctor Strange here himself, and to me, this is why I bought the set. Um, you know, honestly, the build's fine, but this is the main reason. I love the Doctor Strange movies. I think they're pretty great. And I think this minifigure is just overall very cool. So I guess if we start up at the top, we do have a dual molded hairpiece or printed hairpiece maybe with the black and then a little bit of the grayish white on the side showing his older age. He also just has a normal face expression, kind of a small smirk, some facial hair there. Getting down here on his hands, he does have these transparent pieces to show his like magic or whatever it is. As we get here, we can see his blue robe, we can see his belt, and we can see the eye printed on there and we can also see some other printing down on his legs continuation of some of that belt and stuff and then he obviously has this giant red cape piece on the back which can be removed it is a rubbery piece and it's easy to just put on and off you can see some more um prints on the back of his robe and he does have an alternate face back there and as i said it's really easy to just put this robe on like this just kind of Oh, so okay, footage can be cut. Yeah, like I was saying, it's really easy to just put on the cape. As I said, it's pretty easy to just put on the cape like that. Uh, Lego suggests in the instruction manual that you should be taking apart the entire minifigure and putting it on and putting the head over it. But that just takes a lot of time. It's a lot easier to just put it on and off like that. So that's what we got for Dr. Strange. Let's go ahead and take a look at the set, or the build of the set. So as the name is suggesting, this build is Dr. Strange's Interdimensional Portal. Uh, it's a pretty simple build, honestly. It's just on this one kind of curved plate. Uh, up here we do have this, uh, I assume to be some sort of potion bottle, or some sort of other bottle. But it's a transparent uh, purple minifigure head with some other pieces on the top. We also have what is resembling a box here, which is a 2x2 two two in kind of a tan color, and then some cheese slopes on the top. We have a couple other pieces here to represent some rock detailing. And then of course we have the big portal made out of these trans red pieces, which is very nice, and then using these nougat pieces to hold them together in the back. And then in the very back here we can see a micro scale city, uh, then showing that this portal is going to this other city, but we can see some nice details there, such as some transparent pieces and some roofs. That's what I got for the build. It's already time for the final thoughts on the set. So, for a $5 poly bag, this is a pretty peak set. Um, we're getting just above $0.10 cents per piece, which isn't too bad, but we're also getting a pretty cool minifigure and a semi-decent build that... It's not great for display, but it could be cool to display the minifigure. I know when I have this set on this, on my shelves, I just kind of have Doctor Strange there. I don't really think it's a good display set, but I think it's a good little placeholder to put a minifigure per se. Um, I feel like LEGO doesn't do too much of that anymore. But it's nice to just have a little like kind of background to put your minifigure that kind of puts them in character a little bit more. Overall, again, worth $5 probably. Uh, it's a great poly bag in my opinion. You do get a lot of cool pieces. And overall, just a great minifigure. So, I would recommend buying this set. I would say it's probably a good 9 out of 10 for me. I think it could include a little bit more detail, maybe been a little bit bigger. But, that's really just all opinion based. But anyways, that's all I have for this sh very short review of this set. If you did enjoy uh, liking the video, subscribing, doing all those YouTube things is very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.